Now, once again, Raymond Arroyo. Welcome back to the world over. Built in the 10th century and visited by 1.5 million each year, the Catholic Cathedral in Cordoba, Spain, is an historical landmark. Though it began as a Christian church in the 600s, from 711 to 1236, the building served as a mosque during the Muslim Caliphate. Now there's a call by some members of the Spanish left and a growing Muslim population in Spain to de-Christianize the cathedral, turning it into a shared space between Muslims and Catholics. The Bishop of Cordoba is resisting those pleas and issuing his own warnings. I sat down recently with Bishop Demetrio Fernandez Gonzalez of Cordoba, who was in the U.S. to raise awareness about the controversy surrounding his cathedral. Take a look. Your Excellency, this basilica, this cathedral has been used in Cordoba as a Catholic cathedral since 1236 when Ferdinand took it over. It was a mosque for a time. Is there any precedent of a Catholic cathedral being turned back into something that it once was, into a mosque in this case? There are three well-known cases. One of them is Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, which was originally a, a Catholic Christian. Uh, then uh, there is a uh, very well-known the Cathedral in Famagusta in Cyprus, which is a magnificent uh, originally uh, Gothic cathedral. Now it's a mosque. And the third one is St. John uh, Basilica in, uh, in Damascus, which was originally a, a Christian cathedral as well. So there are now 400,000 people signing petitions. They would like to see the cathedral as a shared space for Islamics as well as Catholics. Is that a possibility in your mind? No, it's possible. This, this is not possible either way. There is not one ca single case of a Muslim uh, house of worship where they could share it with Catholics or Christians, or, I, or the other way around, or Christians, or there is not one single case in the whole, in the whole world where Christians are sharing their own house of worship with the Muslims. You are quoted as saying, Islam as a religion doesn't allow Muslims to pray together with Catholics anywhere in the world. So when Muslims ask to join the Catholics in the mosque cathedral, they're actually ordering the Catholics to leave. Is that what you fear? Evidente. It's quite obvious. It's once uh, a Muslim takes uh, uh, a place, a spot uh, somewhere else, there is no one else who ever will be allowed to, uh, to worship there, either Christian or Jewish or anyone else. There is actually a lineage here that's interesting that I didn't realize. Before this was a mosque, there was a Catholic church, St. Vincent's, uh, on that spot. Tell us about that history. You've excavated some of this church. Yeah, that, was, uh, that was the case. There was a beautiful Christian basilica dedicated to St. Vincent. And as a matter of fact, whenever you go to the Cordoba Cathedral, you could see the remnants mm -hmm. of that. You could see the tiles and the mosaics and everything. And what happened is that when the Muslims came, they completely destroyed that, uh, that basilica. And then for four centuries, well, they built on the, the mosque on, on top of that, for, for centuries it was the mosque. And uh, four centuries later on, when Ferdinand III uh, took over, he didn't destroy, he didn't destroy the, the mosque, mm -hmm. but he gave the mosque to the Christian, to the Catholics, as uh, their own cathedral. Now, there are some in Cordoba who say, your administration, your diocese, changed the name of what had been the mosque cathedral. In 1998, you changed it to cathedral, former mosque, in parentheses, and then in 2010, it simply became the Cordoba Cathedral. They say that is the reason they're up in arms. You're trying to erase history. You would say what? I get you have to make the distinction. You have to speak about the Bishop of Cordoba. In this time, there are three different bishops. In mm -hmm. my time as a bishop, the thing I've done is that uh, that uh, magnificent uh, uh, construction is being called the monumental, uh, uh, the monumental heritage, uh, monuments of the, of the Cordoba Cathedral. Pero estoy de acuerdo en que the name, the name uh, at the end of the day, does, doesn't have any importance. I don't mind being it called cathedral or mosque cathedral or cathedral ancient mosque, but uh, the reality is this is a Catholic cathedral. So what are you looking? to accomplish. 
you would like to have the church own the site? Is that what you're trying to get the local authorities to agree to? And is that possible given that it's now been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site? UNESCO, UNESCO is very satisfied with the, the management the Catholic uh, Church is taking of the cathedral. And as a matter of fact, in the last few years, the, the UNESCO even has improved the qualification that is given to the cathedral as a recognition of the quality of the management given to the... The only thing we want to, to have is the right of the Catholic community in Córdoba to continue worshipping God in the cathedral the way they've been doing for the last 800 years a la que tiene derecho como comunidad católica. And you fear that that future is compromised by these calls to share the space. Cierto. Uh, both partidos políticos. The Muslim dream on one side and uh, the ideas of some political leaders on the other side are casting a very serious doubt about that future. Mm. Anything else that we should add? Anything you want people to know? Pues que la gente sepa the que thing no I would like people to know is that the only thing we would like to have is the peaceful enjoyment of the worshiping we've been doing for the last eight centuries. That uh, the cathedral is open to all the tourists, apart from the uh, times dedicated to the worshiping. That, uh, in fact, the cathedral is being recognized as one of the main monuments in the world. And uh, certainly it remains open to all those people who would like to visit it. But the only thing I want people to know is that we would like to continue peacefully enjoying the right to worship God in the way uh, we've been doing for the last eight centuries. I've been reading in some of the media accounts, uh, Muslim visitors who wish to pray, they come with their prayer mats, they want to pray there. They say this is part of their history. And yet, the diocese says, you may not pray here. No, it's not no es a worshiping Muslim site. Es una it's a consecrated a Catholic cathedral. Uh, where uh, we have all the rights of the Catholicism there, with the Mass being said, uh, with the Holy, uh, with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Host uh, being ex being there, and so on and so forth. You wouldn't it allow it either in St. Peter's, in the Vatican, or any other cathedral in the world. And I, I suppose vice versa, you wouldn't be allowed to say Mass in in Mecca. Yeah. I would like to invite all the people who are watching your wonderful TV to visit Córdoba. They are more than welcome, more than welcome in Córdoba. We will take you up on that, Your Excellency. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. We'll continue to monitor this story for you. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Until next week, the show continues on Facebook and Twitter. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. The links are at RaymondArroyo.com. Be sure to join us next week for a special World Over Independence Day show featuring Lieutenant General Hal Moore, Gary Sinise, and Senator Jeremiah Denton. What heroes. Until then, we'll be scouting the world over for all that is seen and unseen. On behalf of the staff and crew of EWTN News, thanks for watching. I'm Raymond Arroyo from Washington, D.C. I know. Thank you.